Three right now, and today is World Theater Day, and we're taking a look at one of the historic landmarks on Oahu. That's right. Dallas and Tavares joins us live from Kumu Kahua Theater with all the details. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, everyone. Yes, it is World Theater Day, and why not come to the Kumu Kahua Theater? It's such a cool place, isn't that right, John? Yes, it is, this, absolutely. This is John, this is Harry. Good morning, Harry. Good morning. He was with us for the last half hour, and this is so neat. I mean, not only are we talking about some of the productions that are happening here, but really just looking at the timeline of this historic place, but I wanna ask you all first, because we're talking over the commercial break about theater, because we're all theater people at one point. But um, I just want to ask you, John, first, you know, what, what got you into theater in the first place? And how has it really changed your life where you still give back to the community and to the performing arts today? Well, for me, it was uh, kind of a long journey. I, I didn't really get on stage until I was in my 30s. And mm -hmm. I, I've been working on a teaching degree in English, and I took a class in oral interpretation of literature. So it was performing short stories and poems. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first time I stood up to perform something in class, I went, wow, there's something here that I want to do. Yeah. And uh, a message or a way of talking to other people and communicating and influencing how people think. And that it changed my life. And then I eventually went on to do things on the stage, but also to be a director and a teacher of, of actors and directors as well. So that's so cool. You were once in your student's position in yeah. some way, and you get to see the growth, which mm -hmm. is amazing as well. What about for you, Harry? What got you into theater? Well, you know, the, um, I got interested in theater through Kumukuhua Theater because then they tell um, local stories mm -hmm. about here in Hawaii. And then I remember, I remember I was in school, and they would give me Walt Whitman and Emily Dickinson, and I knew that those poems were moving but then one day i heard that they were going to do be doing bamboo ridge another local publisher was going to be doing a play reading i mean um, a poetry reading mm -hmm. and i went and i heard daryl lum read about new year's day here in hawaii and that's the first time i heard a poem and it made me cry mm -hmm. you know like I, I mean i'm i'm certain that people can be moved by all kinds of stories yeah except when you want to hear yourself on stage when you want to hear your father or your mother or your aunt or your child you know like being having a story told it's it's here where you get to see yourself on stage yeah that's really powerful that's something really awesome about this theater it's local productions you know pr productions that you're probably never going to find anywhere else and like you said sometimes you see that family member or that friend that really just touches you with how powerful they can be and i think it's really cool during the commercial break we we're talking about you know are we introverts are we extroverts because if you're a theater kid or if you're in drama or whatever it is you know there's definitely a mixture for it but tell us how it really sparks something inside of you maybe helps you communicate better or maybe helps your presence just in the community, not only just here in the theater, but everyday life? Well, for me too, um, I have a similar story to, to Harry's that when I first started performing, because I had seen, and I was an English major, I'd read a lot of stuff from, you know, dead white guys, basically. Mm -hmm. um, and then- Shakespeare? Shakespeare. <laughs> I, I, I have to say, I love Shakespeare. Yeah. Let, let's get that out of the way. Okay. But then I thought, I want to hear our stories as well. And yeah. um, so when I first started performing, I made it kind of a political statement. I was an older student, so I made a political statement to only perform works that were um, written written here by local writers. And um, it was interesting in those days, I had uh, some of my professors were uh, excited about it, some were not. And, yeah. and the ones who were excited were saying, I've never heard this. It's great to be introduced to this kind of work. Yeah, you gotta break up the pattern, which is why they have an upcoming production coming up called Folks You Meet in Longs and Other Stores. Now this sounds pretty hilarious because I'm sure everyone might have a story of what happened to them at a department store. I know that Walmart is a very interesting place as well, depending on what time you go, but there's auditions happening for this production coming up. Mm -hmm. Harry, do you want to tell us what time and how people can get involved? Sure. They can just come here. Um, it's at 6 o'clock here at the theater, 46 Merchant Street, downtown Honolulu. And then, you know, it's, if you've been a person who's always wanted to get on stage, this is the best entrance. It's here at this community theater. And you're looking for all ages? 
all ages. All right. Well, this is fun. Thank you so much for joining us on Wake Up, uh, Wake Up Today, Take Two, talking about World Theater Day. This is such an awesome place to really get into playwriting or just theater in general. You can learn a lot from these people. So I appreciate your guys' time, truly. Thank you. Thank you. And that's a wrap. Cut. All right. Send it back to you guys in the studio. Exit stage left. <laughs> <laughs> and that book, the folks that you meet at Long's, mm -hmm. that's actually being um, read throughout high schools because Aiden, my son who's in high school, that was part Wanted of their literary read. list. Yeah, so it's a good book. And maybe now he can go audition. Mm. <laughs> All right, coming up for food.